Welcome back to another video, and today we are actually watching, actually not watching, my bad, we are reading uh, Revenge Writer Stories, my most favorite, the, the best stories that we could actually do, and uh, yeah, um, th these are my favorite stories to tell, only because revenge is a sweet thing, I like getting revenge, and uh, yeah, if you guys do too, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitch, subscribe to the main channel, and uh, yeah, let's get straight into revenge stories. Alright, so well, let's get straight into it. A classmate's mom tried to get me expelled for quote-unquote selling drugs. Now they're being sued for embezzlement. I picked up a few uh, addictions in grade 10, cigarettes, uh, and some other drugs to... Uh, that weren't allowed. I was very depressed, and I changed schools for my senior year to a small school where I knew most people. I'm trying to start new, n new with old friends and new people. Uh, well, there's some r rumors followed me. I was still a heavy stoner, and so were my friends at the school. This got me some uh, unwanted attention. Some people don't care to hide it. Uh, it became a problematic a few months into the school year when an announce, announce, announced letter uh, was sent into the school claiming to be concerned for, uh, for my well-being, saying I was going to school high smoking with my friends on breaks. Pretty true. I managed to avoid punishment because there wasn't anything to be back to back it up and the principal and vice principal weren't very uh weren't happy about this uh, announcement because uh then came a few more letters saying i was selling pills to younger kids pressuring them into taking them they claimed they had 12 plus kids parents on board to pull their kids if i wasn't expelled my parents were pissed some of my teachers started treating me differently the kids i had been uh, friends with distance themselves it caused me to replace hard and ruined and ruined my grades i made made it past it all uh, didn't get expelled past my courses and still had a few friends from school now on the uh corrupt now there's corrupt lady she sent letters to kids i knew saying everybody hated them they should leave school etc we knew it was her in previous instances because of uh what whatsapp number she used to threaten some and uh and send letters written in the same word style got attributed to her she she is a psycho always uh meddling even in her younger daughters uh crap who was 10 or 11 at the time keeping her kids from hanging out with other kids she doesn't like or her parents uh, she doesn't like. Today, I read an article about two years after facts saying there's non-profit and being sued by uh, uh, province. I live from a, a, a embezzlement ac accused of uh, stealing $4 million through a few shell corporations. Some programs they literally sold to themselves through another company, their own, and some of uh, there are other crap I don't want to get into. I feel bad for my daughter. She was chill when she was younger, but her mo her mom, I never did uh never did crap to her anybody at the school. I kept my head down and tried to deal with my demons, and she didn't let me. Uh, but karma it got her ass, so it's cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the video. Uh. Or, that's the Reddit story. Uh, karma is a sweet thing. I like karma. Revenge is nice. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this karma story. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitch. And uh, follow the main channel. Almost at 120 subs. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe here. And uh, yeah, thank you.